How's your day? You're set. Who's the day? <laughs> I actually had some fun radio interviews this morning. But... Uh, this is a movie that you could say in a way was a step wish with a diploma, and there's always that danger that a character like your your own character Clyde could turn into that sort of Seagal Van Damme thing. Thankfully, you don't. You give a great performance here. Was there a, a kind of concern for you? I don't know whether you you kind of you know had an idea. This is where I want to go here. I want to make people go with me because he's quite a tough uh, nut. Yeah, he's he is a tough nut, but I felt that there was many um, many different layers to this character, and he ends up as one does in many different areas in his life, you know, in, in different places. And you know, at the start, I felt he's quite a softy and he's a sweetheart. Of course, he would always have that switch inside him, um, which is brought out as the as the story goes on. But you know, and then there's the part of him which is, you know, he's just a lost soul. And then there's a the part of him where he gets his plan in action, where he's uh, sadistic, um, I I insane, and and then there's the genius part. I mean, you know, there's so many different parts going on, and that's what I wanted to get into the character was, you know, a lot of different textures, and, and at the same time have a humanity running through the whole thing, so that you could always still relate to him, which could suck you into maybe keeping that sympathy and going on that ride with him, even when what he's doing is pretty outrageous. You're obviously a man of, of uh, firm decisions because for, for two years as you prepared this with Evil Twins, your production company, you were playing the prosecutor, mm -hmm. and then you decided at the last minute, no, I'm going to play the other guy, I'm going to play Clyde. Was that just something as you read the script again and again, you got drawn to feel, well, I could do something with that? that I, I was liking that character, but I, I, would, I was still mostly intent on playing the prosecutor, but we thought Jamie wanted to play the prosecutor and I wanted to get the movie made, so I said, <laughs> <laughs> I'll jump over because I do have a certain amount of fascination there, and Jamie said, yeah. And, and the, one of the reasons I had the fascination was because I literally thought that's not something I could do. Yeah, I could do it in a Van Damme way, but could I really pull it off in a, you know, in a good enough way to, to merit being in this movie? Um, so that was the challenge for me, but, um, and that's the way it went. <laughs> We've got a ridiculously short length of time. We've just been given a two minute warning, which is uh, almost like an American uh, interview. So very quick questions. All right, we'll do there's, an extra minute. There's always this Sorry. question about uh, 300. There's always this question comes up, this wonderful gay parade that gets out of hand. Such a huge hit, everybody loves 300. Is there any suggestion that, you know, we'll go to Prince Leonidas, the, the, the early years, or any kind of... I'm sure Hollywood always, always wants to revisit something that makes a lot of money. Have you been approached? Um, you know, I know Frank Miller has been writing something, and, um, and Mark Canton, the producer, has been talking about something, and I, I'm not sure whether we're flogging a dead horse. Um, but, <laughs> we're, but we'll see. I don't know. I mean... It, and I'm still not sure whether it would be a prequel or a sequel or quite how they would justify me being around. Um, <laughs> Hollywood I don't know. Do I would be happy. You know, who knows for the future? But right now, I think 300 as a one-off is kind of perfect. I was reading about your early days in Paisley and in, in, in Glasgow, and you know, you were in a band and you were trying to be a lawyer, and you didn't quite work out. You spent a year, and you did some research because you were in jail. You got shackled to eight other men. Well, that's all good research for your later career in a movie like this. But you went last Sunday back to Glasgow. This was the premiere, and, and I don't know whether that felt quite emotional. On the Friday, you turned 40. It must have all felt a little bit overwhelming to sort of be the returning son who's actually got a, a glittering career and, and uh, you know, this sort of profile and this sort of success. But how was it for uh, you? It, 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 it was great. I just want to point out when I was oh. in jail, it was only over the weekend. Right, that's and okay, I have, but it, it, it all took counts. me to another place to put me in shackles. <laughs> but I just thought it sounds like I was it in for murder. Sounds cool. You're in LA you know? County Jail. That all sounds good. It looks good on a CV. Johnny Cash would be proud of you. <laughs> no, it was, I wasn't actually in LA County Jail. I was, in a, I was in a place in LA, but they brought the guys from LA County Jail to that, to that cell. They were, the, you know, there was eight, they were brought in, seven of them, and I was stuck in a room with my normal clothes on going, I'm going to die. I'm Die. But um, but anyway, to go back to Glasgow was was incredible because you're right. I have had a pretty um, uh, colourful past, a colourful history, and and to go all the way back to a city that I grew up in, that I belong to, and they gave me everything that I, that, that I am, and then to leave and go all around the world, and then to make this over in Hollywood, and then bring it all back there, and have my family and all my friends. I had friends that I've known since I was five years old. Um, friends from primary, from high school, from university, people I worked with, trained as a lawyer, uh, people I was in chain gangs with, joking. Um, it, it all came full circle and it was, it was actually a pretty emotional, exciting experience. Rock and roll. I've been rapidly giving the finger over there. Very nice to talk to you.